What's up guys? I just have 14 hours and just put my contacts in. I'm ready to go. Hey, uh, today, you know, I'm not going to do one of those videos where I'm like, oh, look where I am, look where I am. Instead, I'm going to do a video uh, from my house again about, you know, just kind of manners and common courtesy. Um, I notice this a lot at VidCon and, and just in general. Um, I knew, you know, some of these things I would run into. Um, oh, shoot. I just published a video that wasn't supposed to upload. Anyways, um, so I went to VidCon and there was a lot of people, both in my case, and I saw it happen to other people, that, you know, expected someone else to take care of them because the other person was financially well off. That would, uh, you know, knock on my room at four in the morning saying, oh, I don't have a place to stay. Can I stay here? Or just kind of like hang around a room until they're like, well, time to go to bed. And I'm like, no, get out. Or just, you know, flat out tell me like, can I stay in your room without, without paying? And so this is kind of my thought process. I worked my ass off to pay for this room. And I know a bunch of other people did too. Um... And for you to expect, because this other person was more financially well off because they worked hard, um, you know, to take care of you, is just ridiculous. You can't expect that out of another person. And I, I thought that was really, really rude of the people that did that. There were some people that asked me that, are, you know, like a day or two out of time or a couple hours, they're like, you know, Jared, like, I don't have a place to stay tonight. Can I, can I room here? And I was like, yeah, that's fine if you ask me. But when you're asking me at like, four in the morning or you're just kind of expecting it. That is so wrong. I, a lot of people look to me like I'm so financially well off and I'm like, no, I go to college. Do you understand how expensive that is? I am so broke and I worked my ass off this summer. The only reason I really got a job this summer was to pay for VidCon. So, you know, I worked my ass off to go to VidCon and, and these people just expect things out of you. Um, along those lines, like some people charge things to my account without telling me and I'm like, if you would have just told me ahead of time, I would have let you. For instance, like, valet parking or room service or something. But, like, you just did it and expected me to pay for it. Or pay me back, which never happened. Which is fine, because some of these kids got me back in other ways. Sexually, of course. Uh, no. But, um, I don't know. You just can't expect those things out of some someone. That's why, I don't know, next year, if I, if I do go to VidCon next year, I'll probably be staying by myself. Um... Although Ryan, WF, WTF Films for the one was my roommate for a while. You know, he paid. He was fantastic. He was a great roommate. Um, so that was, that was kind of that. And just like, I don't know, common courtesies. If you see someone's trying to go to bed, um, you know, just like, let them go to bed. Don't, don't hit them. Don't bug them. Don't, uh, don't whatever. Um, another thing was, you know, alcohol. And, and you know, there were, there were some people that were drinking at VidCon. And, you know, I'm not stupid. I understand understa underage drinking happens. But if you're going to be underage and drinking, don't be a f fucking moron. I mean, these people are just, like, stumbling around and just, like, screaming at people and just, like, just being rude. And I'm like, yo, people are trying to sleep. Like, for instance, me, I'm trying to sleep. Or, or other people I saw just trying to sleep and they're just getting bumped into or, or whatever. And I just thought that was, that was kind of rude. Um, overall, I guess I want to say, you know, I'm not this, like, rich kid talking down, you guys like, hey, if you don't have money, don't get a fake card. But, really, if you don't have the money, if you haven't worked, if you haven't saved, don't go to these events such as VidCon or anything else, because you can't expect, you can't go into it expecting someone else to pay for you, someone else to cover you. That's not fair to them at all. I mean, I, I worked hard enough to pay for myself, and then I've got these other expenses on top of that. I'm just gonna throw a ballpark number. It cost me over, it cost me about a thousand dollars to go to VidCon, okay? There's, there's a price. Um, and yet, I had these charges here and there, just everywhere, here and there, every. No, I had these charges that, you know, I didn't even make, or, or people just trying to use me in other ways. And I'm like, guys, don't do that. But the people that did ask me ahead of time, they're like, hey, can we room with you? Like, a couple days ahead of time. I don't know what to say. I was like, yeah, of course. And I'm not going to make them, if they offer to pay, I'm not going to make them pay all the time. Like, who do I want to use an example? Let's just use uh, Damon D. Fizzy, just because he's the only one I can really remember. He's like, Jared, I've got a place to stay, but, like, there's a lot of people in that room. Can I stay with you? I'll pay for you and everything. And I'm like, dude, you don't have to pay. Just come sleep in my room. And just, like, stuff like that. I'm glad he offered. But then the people that didn't offer that would just knock on my room at 4 in the morning. Hey, can I, uh, can I stay with you? I don't have a place to stay. You should have planned that out ahead of time. Oh, <sighs> kills me. Anyways, that's just, you know, my little spiel about manners, I guess. And just, you know, how to be nice to people or, or respectful of other people and not expecting them to cover your ass all the time, because realistically, it's not going to happen all the time. Um, that being said, I still love these people, whether they did it to me or other people, personally. It's just, I don't know, it just kind of gets on my nerves. Um, anyways, new video on YouTube account since GR46. Check it out in the down bar. I love you guys so much, except you. You, you smell bad. Bye.